Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with the Ravel files and I'm going to upload images and store to the database. If you go to the Laravel documentation, inside the request we have the storing file storing uploaded files and here you have you have the retrieving files. I have created a new Laravel application called blog and inside this application I have created a new model called photo and for that model I create new migration and add the name and the size to this migration and if I open the tablet class we have here the photos with name and size now to make a demo for this we need a, a controller and I'm going to create artisan make controller photo controller and if I go to HTTP controllers we have this one I'm going to create a, a function public function uh, call it uh, create for example And I'm going to return a view here. So I'm going to upload. We don't have, but we're going to create that. another function to store the image. Uh, I'm going to call it store. And here we need a request. To the request. And for now, I'm just going to uh, then dump the request, save, and for this we need to uh, set the roles. By PHP, we need to register that road get plot. And the controller class, make sure you import that. And the method is create, copy that, and add here. And the request is a post request. And the method is store save and we need uh, one more thing inside the resources views we need the file called upload dot blade dot php okay add the html5 and here just h1 upload upload and uh, we need a form Method is going to be post. Uh, action is going to go to the upload, and we need the and type multipart form data. Uh, we need the CSRF token and an input type file and name photo. and an input type submit and name it upload and if I save now go to the browser refresh here are is the application method action for the controller Okay, sorry, I forget that uh, the okay.
save. Refresh now. If I go now to the upload, we have a form and return the request. We then done the request. If I try now, we have I have a downloaded two random photos, and here are the request. Okay, and for now. We have the token. And if I go here and pass the, the request file, save. Okay, we have the Photo now and the upload file we had the test of fails original name is the name of the file we have here mime type and error and now if I go here and for name I'm going to request file get client origin name and I'm going to return the name okay uh, so now we give it an array, why an array? File, yeah, get but the file is photo. Okay. Yeah, we have the name. If I sit here get client extension original extension save it we get the extension here now png and if i want the get size get get size save I go back refresh and we have the size of the image. Okay, you go if you go here, you have the the request photo. It's the same thing. So the same thing. Okay, and uh, we make a check if we have a photo as file. If if we don't have a photo, we don't make anything. For example, we. If we if we want the path of the photo, we get by this uh, method and the extension by this method here. And if we want to store the photo, we run this store and where we want to store. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. The name. This is the size. We need the size and the name to store it to the database. And the name is the request file photo uh, get sorry get client original name and uh, this photo is from the input type here and we name it photo so if I change the here the image we need to make a change here to image okay so I'm going to change now image save and I'm returning the name if I go and 
Okay, we have a name. It's, it's same thing. So, first I want to store the photo and we see in the Laravel documentation how to store the photo. So, request. file photo and store and start the public images okay so this is going to store inside the storage up public here and we are going to create a new directly called image images and after that we're going to store the image okay now we need the photo it's going to be new photo and uh, name is going to be the name we have and the size is going to be the size and we're going to save the photo I'm going to return redirect back save if I go here so now inside the photos we don't have anything and here inside the storage public we don't have anything uh, if I go now here choose a file this file for example submit store node y Because I change and I forget to save, go back, refresh again. Okay, submit we redirect back, no error. Now, if I go and refresh here, yeah, we have a photo, and the name of the photo is the name, the size is here. And if I go now inside the storage up public you see we have an images directory in here we have the file and you see Laravel is going to create a hash name for this file if I want to give it the name to this the original name just go uh, sorry make it store us and give it the uh, you see we have an error because expect two arguments and the path and the name is and we have an options but the path and the name is expected okay so give it we give it the name enough if I say and go here so we have the name of the photo jpg and I want to upload again this one jpg okay open yeah I refresh and you see the first image and the second image is the same uh, name and the same size if I go now here and slide the images we have the original name for this okay so this is how you store the photo if you want to display the photo uh, just click here inside the form I'm going to display
and uh, make a new one because we have for each photos as photo ally display the photo name and new match with source of is asset and storage images and give it the organized by the name of the photo okay if i save and go to the photo controller now we need the past it here the photos photos is going to be photo or oh, give us of the photo and pass it here with a compact function method photos if i save we have the The photos of there so we have the same thing if I go and up, upload another one here yeah. upload here yeah. upload this one submit now we have the, another one here okay so this is how we store and display the photos in the Laravel uh, that's it for this video if you like, please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.